The High Court has made interim orders to protect a 75-year-old woman with dementia who was urgently removed from her family home amid concerns for her welfare. The most senior judge of the High Court described as horrific and nauseating details of a secretly recorded conversation in which the woman was threatened and verbally abused by her son. But our court reporter Vivian Trainer joins us now. Um, Vivian, some very distressing evidence given today. I know that some of it simply isn't suitable for broadcast at this hour of the day. What can you tell us? Well, Gillian, the President of the High Court, Mr Justice Peter Kelly, said that he had been a long time on the bench, but this was the worst he had seen. A 75-year-old woman with advanced dementia had to be urgently removed from her home amid concerns about possible physical, emotional and financial abuse. Uh, we heard details today that the HSE wants the High Court to make the woman a ward of court for her protection. A secret recording made by another family member was given to the judge and a transcript of that was given to the judge. Uh, in it, her son can be heard calling her names, using bad language, threatening to kick her, threatening to knock her out, threatening to cover her mouth. The judge said that he found reading the full transcript of the recording nauseating because he said it contained details that were even worse uh, than those details read out in court today. He said it was horrific. And Vivian, um, the woman's son was present in court today. He spoke in court. What did he say or how did he explain this? He told the court that this was an isolated incident. He said he was ashamed when he read the transcript. He said he doesn't remember saying half of those things. He wants more time to instruct a solicitor. He said he wants the judge to see the bigger picture, that he's the only one of his siblings caring for his mother. He assured the judge that he was well qualified to care for his mother and said that he would show the judge that she had been receiving the highest level of care. He denied a suggestion from the public health nurse that the woman had been found in a neglected state. He said that simply wasn't the case. Now the court has made uh, continuing interim orders keeping the woman in hospital under the protection of the High Court. It's back before the court in two weeks time. Vivian, thanks for that.